NASA made the difficult decision to power down the spacecraft's plasma science instrument to conserve energy, allowing its other systems to continue sending valuable data back to Earth. This decision marks an important chapter in Voyager 2's long-running mission, showcasing both its incredible achievements and the ongoing efforts to extend its journey into the unknown regions of our galaxy. In this video, we'll explore why this decision is so important, the science behind it, and what Voyager 2's continued journey means for space exploration. The decision to power down Voyager 2's plasma science instrument is part of a broader strategy to prolong the spacecraft's mission. After decades of collecting invaluable data, Voyager 2's power supply is steadily depleting. The spacecraft is powered by a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, RTG, which generates electricity from the heat produced by decaying plutonium. However, this power source loses approximately 4 watts of energy each year, necessitating tough decisions about which instruments should remain operational. So why is the shutdown of this particular instrument significant? The plasma science instrument has played a critical role in studying the flow of charged particles in space, especially during Voyager 2's transition from the heliosphere to the interstellar medium. In 2018, it confirmed Voyager 2's exit from the heliosphere by detecting a significant drop in solar particles and an increase in plasma from interstellar space. This marked a monumental discovery in space exploration, as it offered a glimpse into the uncharted territories beyond our solar system. This allows Voyager 2's plasma wave subsystem to continue functioning, indirectly measuring plasma density by detecting plasma waves generated by solar events. This ensures that Voyager 2 remains a valuable tool for understanding the interstellar medium, despite its limited power supply. Inside the heliosphere, particles from the sun are constantly pushed outward by solar wind, creating a protective bubble around our solar system. However, as the heliosphere moves through interstellar space, the plasma flow behaves differently at Voyager 2's position. Near the front of this solar bubble, plasma flows almost in the opposite direction of the solar wind, creating unique challenges for measuring this region. Voyager 2's plasma science instrument was crucial in studying these interactions. The instrument has four cups. Three cups pointed toward the sun, collecting data on the solar wind while inside the heliosphere, and a fourth cup positioned at a right angle to measure plasma in other environments such as planetary magnetospheres, the heliosphere, and now, interstellar space. However, after Voyager 2 crossed the heliopause, the plasma flow into the three sun-facing cups dropped significantly. This left the fourth cup to collect valuable data only once every three months, when the spacecraft completes a full 360-degree rotation toward the sun. This limited data collection influenced NASA's decision to power down this instrument, choosing to conserve energy for other systems. On September 26, NASA engineers sent the command to power down Voyager 2's plasma science instrument. The signal, transmitted through NASA's Deep Space Network, took 19 hours to reach the spacecraft. Once Voyager 2 executed the command, the confirmation signal took another 19 hours to travel back to Earth. NASA's mission engineers closely monitor any operational changes made to the 47-year-old spacecraft, ensuring no unintended effects disrupt its functions. Following the shutdown, the team confirmed that the process was successful, and Voyager 2 continues to operate smoothly without any issues. One of Voyager 2's most remarkable achievements was its crossing of the heliopause, the boundary where the solar wind meets the interstellar medium. This event marked a significant milestone in space exploration, as it symbolized humanity's first venture beyond the sun's influence and into the vast, unexplored regions of interstellar space. As Voyager 2 continues to travel further into this unknown territory, it sends back invaluable data about the interstellar medium, including information on particle density, 
magnetic fields, and cosmic rays. A key challenge of Voyager 2's mission is maintaining communication with the spacecraft, which is now more than 12.8 billion miles away from Earth. NASA relies on the Deep Space Network, DSN, a global array of large antennas strategically located in California, USA, Madrid, Spain, and Canberra, Australia. These stations provide continuous coverage as the Earth rotates, ensuring consistent communication with Voyager 2. Looking ahead, Voyager 2's ability to continue sending data depends on the endurance of its systems, and scientists are hopeful that the spacecraft will remain operational into the 2030s. The prolonged mission presents an exciting opportunity to learn more about the galactic environment beyond the heliosphere, potentially offering discoveries about cosmic rays and how other stellar systems influence interstellar space. One of the most promising prospects for future discoveries involves solar shocks, events caused by solar activity that send waves outward into interstellar space. As these shocks propagate and eventually reach Voyager 2, its instruments can detect the resulting changes in plasma density and magnetic fields. This data could offer a unique perspective on how the Sun interacts with the broader galaxy and provide further insight into the dynamics of the interstellar medium. Finally, the engineering lessons learned from Voyager 2's mission are invaluable. The spacecraft has been operational for over 45 years, far surpassing its initial expected lifespan. Lessons learned from operating it shape future missions, particularly those designed to explore deeper regions of space, such as the Kuiper Belt or potential interstellar probes. The legacy of Voyager 2 continues to be a source of inspiration, not just for space exploration, but for the innovative solutions that ensure the success of missions operating in the most extreme and distant environments. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe to stay updated on more exciting news from the world of space exploration. Stay tuned, and together, we'll keep exploring the stars.